So I've had a lot of requests about how to augment a QR code. So I'm going to show you how we can do this. I'm looking at the QR code right now with my native camera app on my phone. This works for iOS or Android. And then what it does, there's this Worldcast, it brings up and says line up image of the QR code that they've already scanned. Now, the tracking on a QR code isn't the best, but I'm going to show you how you can do things to, to optimize for that, okay? It might get a little shaky. Now here it is on a smaller QR code. And I'm going to show you how to design this as well. We're going to go through a little tutorial. So you can have like a little viral marketing uh, campaigns, right? So that QR code's about the, a, a pretty good size. I'll show you how you can make really good ones as well as this really cool one as well. So let's do this. Let's just flip over to our main scene here. So I'm just going to delete this one. Uh, and, uh, and if I would have touched that toucher to sign up, we can have that actually go to a link. So I'm just going to actually delete this cast entirely. So to get started, all you have to do is go to studio.worldcast.io. And in this case, you're going to pick uh, uh, printcast, okay, for image-based, uh, marker-based tracking. So we're just going to go printcast. And the one I just showed you, you can actually do for free. Uh, you get 500 views on that per month, and it's absolutely free. Uh, there's a few limitations, and we'll go over that. So we're going to just call, I'm just going to call this, uh, I was originally doing this uh, tutorial for... Uh, Reddit, so I'm just going to call this Reddit QR code. So you can do, you could upload your camera design or anything else, but in this case, we're just going to go to our uh, file that I've already made because we want the QR code. But we have to, you don't have the QR code yet, so we're going to have to start off with getting the actual uh, uh, cast made first. So you can just grab a random image. Uh, as long as it has a lot of points and features, so you get a good tracking, make sure it's at least 800 pixels wide. Uh, to go through the system, uh, make sure it has a lot of data so it will get the points and allow you to go to the next step. At this point, if you've never been to our studio, you, you didn't have to put any user information yet. You just had to go to studio.worldcast.io. You can get started creating. Only when you go to save it do we ask for e your email address. All right, so here's this item. I'm simply going to go save. I'm going to go save and publish. And that's going to allow me to download the QR code that I need. So I'm just going to simply go PNG. Right here underneath that, so I've got the PNG, you can get the SVG as well. I'm just going to grab this in my folder over here on my other monitor and go to my main uh, folder, get rid of the other QR codes that are in there. Perfect, I'm going to go return to studio. I'm now going to go to uh, the cast properties. And this is where you can replace your marker uh, for any other print cast that you might be making. It's going to analyze, uh, analyze the image again. I'm just going to go select new file. I'm going to go select a file, and I'm going to grab that QR code. While I'm in here, because I'm going to do a parallax design, <clears throat> this is where you turn on the parallax. You, you just go uh, if behind image, and that's all you have to do. And it's going to go down here and go update. All right, I'm just going to go to full screen mode. <clears throat> and I'm going to go to Sketchfab. You can, you can use your own model. You can load one custom 3D model. In this case, I'm just going to grab, grab a, uh, a box that I've uh, that I created, or uh, rather bought, OK? Uh, so I'm just going to go grab this one. We'll pick a different color this time. And we'll go, what we want to do is uh, make it bigger than the actual uh, print. All right, so I'm just going to rotate it up. I have other tutorials on how to do this, but if you, uh, when you grab an object, all the tools are up here and tell you what, how to move the items around. And you have up here, rotate camera, pan camera, and zoom uh, with the mouse, okay? Very easy to controls. So I'm just going to make it uh, bigger than the actual print. Or about the same size, rather. All right, that looks good. I'm going to simply push it down below the canvas. Like that. There's a lot more. Uh, the next one we're going to be doing is way easier than this. This is one of the more complex, uh, the most advanced you would have to get for any kind of cast. 
So I like that. I'm just going to go here and go image. I'm going to go select file. And what I do is I put a border around things just to hide the uh, the uh, blending of reality so you don't uh, you can mask it as much as possible by hiding, hiding the edges of the print. So if there's any kind of overlap or overlay, it'll hide that. So I'm just going to go upload. I'm just going to make it to the size of just a little bit bigger than the QR code. Right about there. So we're overlapping the actual one in reality. I'm just going to raise it up a little bit so there's no uh, ground plane fighting. Sometimes that can happen. And now we're just going to go over here and I'm going to go Sketchfab. I'm going to go back to Find on Sketchfab. I'm going to go Animate it, Stormtrooper. We'll just grab the uh, Sequence, Import. The next I'm going to show is how to do like a guitar lesson uh, that you can put anywhere. So you can scan a QR code, have a video playing on top of it, and uh, have the person go through and be able to click for uh, uh, to sign up for a guitar lesson. As a practical use of how to maybe do something as a little bit of a uh, guerrilla marketing for your own little business. So I've just modified the Stormtrooper, put it the Stormtrooper where I want it to be. Uh, while I'm watching the sequence, make sure there's no bleed through of reality. I'm just going to, you can give us a title, but I'm just going, I went to text. I'm going to go create text. I'm just going to type in, all right. So I'm just going to go, uh, just stylize this a bit. I'm not going to go too crazy because it's, uh, you already saw the end result before. But I'm going to go kind of uh, make it as accurate as possible what I had before. So I'm just going to go grab in this realm. I'm going to go OK. I'm going to turn glowing on. I'm just going to scale it up. I'm just going to push it down into the cast past the uh, Stormtrooper, just like so. I'm going to go up here to Image. I'm just going to go Image from Library. Actually, I'll go Custom Image, sorry, and uh, upload the one I already had before. Touch here to sign up. And we'll just go Upload. And we'll just make it bigger. We'll just bring it up over here. We'll bring it on top of the uh, frame that's around there. So you can place this, any, all those items you can place in uh, 3D space, right? So the further up you put it, the further it'll be. So I'll just do that uh, as well, just to illustrate that. And, and maybe I'll just be a little bit fancy this time. I'll put a fade into the four and four, and I'll just put a, a website in here. And this go save. Actually, I'm going to add one more. I'm going to go, uh, I'm just going to drag and drop actually this time. So I'm just going to drag and drop this uh, audio, which is basically a uh, Mandalorian knockoff uh, uh, royalty free music, which I thought sounded pretty cool. And there we go. I am going to hit save as soon as the upload is complete. I'm going to hit save. Now, this is where you would put your email address in the first time. I should mention that last time I did this. This is where you put your email address in the very first time. Uh, if you want to see what it looked like, I'm just going to go return to studio. And we are going to open up that uh, QR code, the, one, the new one that I generated. Now, it could take up to a minute uh, for the image to process. So if it doesn't work right off the bat, uh, don't worry. Uh, just give another minute and it should... Uh, be fine. I am going to, uh, just a second here. I'll just put this over in this monitor. Perfect. I am going to go to my camera app. I'm just going to scan the QR code, open it up, and it will be a black background now instead of the blue one that we had on the first, on the first go. All right. So there we go. So you can see it's fading in. Now, obviously, if you're moving around, it's going to be, it'll, it's uh, losing a little bit of tracking. Our tracking is really solid. Let me illustrate that first so you can see that it's not just the, uh, the uh, QR code. So I'm just going to open up this cast here. Let's grab this one second. Live tutorials. You never know what could happen. All right, so I'm just going to scan this QR code on my uh, screen just to illustrate something real fast. So 
So this is the kind of tracking that you can expect on our system. It's even, I mean, this is not realistic, this part. I mean, no, who's going to be doing that, right? But still, it's uh, still pretty good. All right. So now we've established that the tracking is, is great on the system. Uh, so the QR code sometimes is going to be a little fluttery, especially as you add more elements to it. Uh, let's go start a new one from scratch. I'm just going to go uh, new, print cast, and we're going to show how uh, another practical one that would uh, be a lot easier to, to uh, for quickly create if you're not even have any 3D skills. So let's just call this guitar lesson. Let's just go next. And let's go select the file. And we'll just grab that other image that we used since it's, it's gone from the system now. So we'll use that same one that we used earlier. Once you delete it from the system, it's gone. So you can just reuse it again. I'm just going to go create. And again, we will go save as soon as it comes on. Just to reiterate, this is the first, this is where you would have uh, put your email address in uh, when you're Get this, this will generate your username and password. This is a cookie-based system. Uh, so next time you come to your browser, you're, you're already logged in. If you go to another computer's or, computer or another browser, you will have to uh, have your username and uh, have that all uh, uh, ready to go. And uh, you would have get an email with that information. All right, uh, let's go save and publish. I was going to go to uh, Styled. Now you want to use the style. The other one won't work. Uh, basically, the logo in the middle is going to help out. If you do change that logo in the middle, uh, to, uh, manipulate ours, re-upload the same QR code, and you can change that logo out. But just make sure it's a good tracking uh, marker. And there's tutorials for that as well. Uh, make sure that it's not just like a circle or something. Uh, so it's going to go uh, return. Actually, did I download it? Let's grab that. Go return to studio. All right, we're just going to go to cast properties. I'm not going to put if not behind image this time because I'm not using the uh, parallax part. I am going to select a new file and I'm going to go to the guitar lesson QR code that I just downloaded. I'm going to go update. All right, I'm simply going to go drag and drop uh, two elements. I'm just going to drag this video over. Actually, I'll drag them both at the same time. I'll just go control click, and I'll just drag these two elements over onto the canvas. So you can multi-select uh, items if you want to drop a bunch of content on at once. This is me playing guitar. I'm going to go proceed. And of course, this button could be anything you want. I do want to note, uh, I make all my graphics either in Photoshop or I use some handy services like this. Uh, this is techstudio.co. You can actually go uh, create really cool uh, PNGs, uh, and then bring them right into our system as well, okay? So I'm just gonna make this video a little bit bigger. Maybe stand it off. Let's just move it out from there for a second. Grab this, just move it up out of the road. All right, so that, I mean, once again, this could be whatever you want it to, to be, and if, uh, like a PNG that you've designed, uh, you can put something on top, something on the bottom. Maybe, maybe we want to add like some kind of uh, social icon. Let's actually go to the image real fast, just to save time. So I'm just going to grab Twitter, select, and maybe put this down here. Just keep it really simple. And you can, uh, of course, uh, assign URLs to these and tell these to do different animations or fade in. So again, I'll just go four four. You can make make this whatever you want. Maybe I'll have this one come in first, and I'll go two and two, so two and four, uh, and we'll just put the website real fast. And I'll touch that and show you how that works. Apparently my fingers don't work today either. All right, that looks good enough to me. I'm not gonna put one Twitter, you can, uh, you get the point. I am going to go save. Go open up that QR code on my monitor. So we can just get to it.
got four monitors and sometimes it's popping up on the other side. All right, there we go. So I'm just gonna scan that QR code. There we go. All right. And just look at it. So it's a little bit more stable. Let's go to the other QR code here. So I'm just going to go uh, open, uh, modified, get rid of my search query up here and show you how it works on a smaller QR code as well. So let's just go uh, guitar lesson and try it out. All right, I forgot to show touching the button. So if you, if you uh, whatever you put, it'll go through. That could be an email address. Uh, you can do a mail to, you can do a phone number, or you can do a URL. Gives you an idea. So that is how you can make very fast uh, QR codes, no code, uh, and be able to make uh, quick content so you can do a little bit of grill marketing for your business or other elements. And there you have it. As always, I can't wait to see what you create.